Hi, Chad Mastia with two videos, and I'm going to be talking about our pets, two dogs, and and then they relate to some patients here, some of their experience with their with their dogs. But I want to, you know, what is interesting and what is, and, and the stories seem to be similar. So it's kind of verifying, you know, how dogs are really perceptive. It's just I'm finding some common commonality between the stories that I hear from patients. But the one thing I want to just make a comment is, is again, that we have dogs in here for therapy, and it's stunning to watch what they do. In other words, the interaction between the patient and the dog, and words are not really spoken as much, but it's just the interaction of the two. And that's what's really interesting, and then sometimes the children too, it is stunning to watch them, how they interact with children, and how the children act with the dog. It's stunning, it calms them down, it is, it, it's a soothing to them, even with, you know, the patients, all patients, are, it's just amazing. The interaction between the, between the dog, our pet, and, 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 and the patient, and also children. Let me go ahead and continue. There are two stories I'm going to tell you, and it has to relate to two dogs. But again, just to reiterate, their perception. That's what this thing is going to be all about. It's two stories about their perception. First story is about a patient that was in here for almost two and a half months. A pretty sick guy. Had some heart problems, uh, and lungs were kind of, and I think some one of the kidneys were having some problems, dialysis, and that started getting better. But he was really sick. And over a period of time, you get to know the family, you get to know, and I got to know the wife a little bit, and as we started, you know, I was, what was amazing, she was very dedicated to her husband. I mean, sometimes the love, it, it is sounding what you see here between a husband and wife. But anyway, now going to continue is that, you know, time passed, and he was starting to prove, and there were small little, little small little improvements, he was on antibiotics, and, and things went on, and so on and so forth. But she came in about a month later, and she was talking about her dog. The dog stopped eating. And, you know, she doesn't know what's going on here. The dog just, you know, she's doing everything she can to feed the dog. The dog is just not eating it. And, you know, she's beside herself. And, and, and you know, what's she going to do? And I, I think she was looking at me for about a vet. But I said, you know, there are a lot of vets. That, you got some vets that are really not nearby if, you, you know, you think they need to do that. The subject dropped after that, everybody, for about two weeks. And he was really starting to prove. I mean, the antibiotics were working, and they got him, a, a, you know, they got him a, a pacemaker, and so things kept even, and then and the infection in his lungs were really, really improving. It was a bad infection, I understand. It took some real serious you know, antibiotics to get, to get rid of it over a period of time. But he was really starting to prove. He was really starting to prove, and, and i got to tell you, the wife comes in. And she tells me that dog is starting to eat. <laughs> Look at me like, what's going on? There were, we didn't make the connection. Right right off the bat, it took a few seconds to make the connection. And I, I'm looking and she's looking at, you know, we're kind of interacting with her husband. And we start thinking about the dog eating. And the connection was made. He was getting better. The dog knew he was getting better. So it started knowing that sometime in the very near future, he was going to be coming home. Your are stories like this, everybody, and I, it, you know, it, it, there are some stories like that, and this is one of those stories that it just, it's really stunning, you know, that perception of the dog. I knew the dog knew, and it, I, it was very excited for him to come home, and, it, and he was discharged. Second story is another one. It doesn't happen very often, and this other story is about a guy similar to one that I heard maybe almost two years ago. Uh, somewhere about that time, and what happened, and he had a problem. His heart would stop. There were two occasions that happened, and the first time he was somewhere on the street, somebody knew CPR, so they brought him back. The second one, he was near a hospital, and they got him back. Third time, he had another incident. The second time after that, they, they got a dog, and I think they got the dog from a shelter, so on and so forth, kind of a small pup, and, you know, the dog was raised by, by them. The, hu the husband got very close to this dog. They were very, they, and, and the dog would always kind of be near his body somewhere, you know, or near his, near his head, so on and so forth, and, and uh, they had a real relationship. What happened next is that um, he, he had to take naps, and because sometimes he'd get weak, he had to take naps, and he'd rest, and so on and so forth. And, but this time, the dog was not next to him. The dog was downstairs with the wife, and the wife is watching TV. He's upstairs, and his heart stops. 
the way the wife tells me, the dog is downstairs on, on the couch right there, and it just jumps. It just, like, you know, it, it was so startled, just, you know, kind of stood up real fast, and, and the dog just got off that couch. The wife is watching. She was just kind of really scared a little bit, and she's, you know, following the dog, and the dog is on full blast going up the stairs, going around the corner, and, she, you know, like, it, it, she's kind of telling me she's able to see part of it, and she sees the dog just taking off running through the doorway to the bedroom and takes a running leap. And guess where it lands? Like the other story. It's study how this is all similar. It takes a running leap and it lands right on his heart. It lands right on his chest and restarts his heart. That story, and there was another one similar to this, and it, it is stunning. And, and the whole point of this, it talks downstairs in the couch and it knows that his heart would, it stopped. Perception. All kinds of things go on with animals, you know. They know when you're down. They know when things are going on there. They they have a. It's amazing how they can perceive things, pets, and you know other animals. You know, it animals can pick up stuff. You know, it's really stunning. And that's what this whole video is about. Two dogs, but you know, all of you have pets out there. Some of you have dogs. Other, I have. We have. My wife and I have two cats, and and so it's amazing, you know, how that happens. And even our cats do it sometimes. It's really. One of our cats, Oreo, is very perceptive, and um, it's just amazing. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end. I appreciate your time on this, and I, I just wanted to relay the stories to you. Uh, and again, just to, you know, to dogs are great. You know, pets are great. They're wonderful to have, you know, be part of the family. And some of you really know that because you have pets. But I'm going to go ahead and end. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching this video. Until the next video, as always, I hope your day is going well. Until the next video, thanks again. Appreciate it.